Hey there fellow crafters, I have decided to continue my uh, series on listing uh, creatures. First series was about Subnautica first game and this one is going to be about exclusively uh, below zero. Brood Shark. I have sculpted this guy on my channel and I really like the design in terms of being cool. I really like the face especially, it looks quite aggressive and brutal so to say. Uh, but overall the creativeness is not so high in my opinion, it really resembles uh, earthly creatures and nothing very special is about this, uh, about the features are there in my opinion. The face itself, the head and jaws look like um, tiger fish uh, in terms of the top part being separated from the overall head. Most of the creatures only can move lower jaw and the upper one is fixed to the skull as for humans for example, but tiger fish can lift up its upper jaw as well. Uh, in terms of the body, uh, the tail looks like a catfish tail and the fins are shark looking fins and that's it. Fendi Garden design kind of splits my stance on it. Uh, on the one hand, I kind of uh, do not really like its complicatedness. It looks like a, uh, some kind of a jellyfish from Earth uh, and that's it. But on the other hand, the nature of itself, like being able to uh, stand on the ground and allow other creatures to traverse inside of this guy, um, turns it uh, into some kind of sci-fi houses on distant planets, like a Mars house or something. Yeah, I don't really uh, appreciate its complicatedness that much, but the feature of being some kind of a house at the same time is uh, really outstanding. Triops, I don't really know how to spell uh, this guy's name, but only decided to include it due to the large resemblance, in my opinion, to the Barlai, uh, which is also called uh, this name. Uh, it is a very strange creature from deep, deep uh, earth, um, which head is transparent. Those two uh, green bolts are actually its eyes, which are underneath the transparent head. And it really looks like some kind of astronaut's helmet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really, really weird. But of course, the fact that it is uh, found on Earth uh, turns our tripod triops uh, into not that much of a creative creature from the game. Titan Holefish, of course, these guys based on sunfish from Earth um, and it really looks like it due to this, uh, how to say, not uh, weird <laughs> but very funny and derpy look on its face. Uh, but the fact that it is, uh, it has some kind of hole inside the body and also produces oxygen really turns this guy into some something special. And the overall shape, uh, yeah, it is round and really looks like a sunfish but the fins are uh, positioned in a very weird way at the same time the facial features the color i really like this design despite the resemblance to earthly creatures uh, it, and uh, definitely it is one of my uh, favorites squid shark i also have sculpted this one on my channel i really like the design it's one of my favorites the top fin looks like a shark the overall body um, smoothness and color looks like a shark as well but of course the unorthodox shape of the mouth uh, which to be honest more resembles to a uh, cuttlefish is quite strange um, the fact that it extends forwards in order to trap some kind of prey uh, really is quite uh, not that strange from earth as well there are some kind of some fish uh, who can extend their mouth in order to trap prey as well but the overall complicatedness of the mouth uh, uh, as well as the really nice looking body really puts this guy up on my list as one of the most creative and nice looking and alien looking creatures from the planet. Spiky Trap. Uh, the concept itself is quite cool. The fauna which cannot really move but it is fixed onto the ground and uh, hunts that way. Unfortunately I cannot really uh, base any of earthly creatures uh, and say that this is the um, model on which this guy was based on. Maybe some kind of uh, plants uh, which hunt flies and other insects can be attributed to the, that part. But uh, there is other space where the inspiration can come, which is the video games, of course, other video games. And unfortunately, uh, this guy is quite uh, 
resembling to barnacles from half-life 2 and due to that reason i cannot really say that this guy is that much of creative or special unfortunately snowstalker i'm quite conflicted about this creature the the body itself looks like a uh, simple polar bear and of course the face also the spikes is resembling to the stalker from the first game um, and the thing that fascinates me is the uh, how to say the resemblance from these uh, these two creatures uh, they are quite different yet look like they are related to each other biologically stalker is a definite fish but this one looks like a mammal <laughs> so to say uh, and at the same time has four very well developed um, limbs for traversing the surface so yeah biology wise it fascinates me how can those two guys be so alike yet so different rock puncher uh, the design itself is not very uh, I'd say creative but the idea of it being able to punch rocks and this derpy look on its face and the overall uh, idea of the creature really elevates it, elevates it in my eyes. The body itself looked like uh, some kind of a lobster. Uh, to be honest, I think this was the original constant art and was going to be included in the game, but in the first game, but was outed from there. Uh, and yeah, about the body, the, f the frontal uh, limbs, in my opinion, resemble to the praying mantis due to the shape of the arms and of course the nature of them at the same time both of the creatures use it in order to attack and defend the pangling i have sculpted this guy as well on my channel i really really love the design of course it is based on the penguin from earth and to be honest at the same time if you omit the larger pair of eyes and only look at the small ones and at the same time uh, attribute this neck this pointy neck into a beak it really looks like an oval as well but the top part which is mouth opening sideways revealing horrible looking teeth is so bizarre that it elevates this creature very high on my creativity list so this is one of the best designs in my opinion from the game and i really really would love to have some kind of a pet if i could uh, like get a pet from the game 100 percent it's going to be a pingling the shadow leviathan it is one of my favorite creatures from the game and of course it's a leviathan so it is in my to-do list to sculpt this guy uh, unfortunately it is so bizarre looking that i wasn't really able to link it to uh, some some one of uh, creatures on which it is based of course the body shape looks like catfish yet again but the mandible parts and other small uh, features like three eyes on, on one side also the strange looking head and all those uh, black and red looking dots uh, turn this one into something very special and interesting interesting looking yeah this is one of my favorite creatures from the game and uh, soon enough I will uh, scope this guy uh, on my channel as well well, unfortunately, this is not uh, my favorite creatures. Um, in my opinion, the Rift Pack had much more different and strange uh, of a look from the game, the form from the first game, and at the same time, it has the similar role as being uh, large Levi Leviathan class pacific creatures. Of course, this one is based on the whale, and in my opinion, uh, Earth whales look much more majestic and. Uh, fascinating than this weird looking weird proportioned uh, creature head itself is quite large in comparison to the body and it gives uh, to the creature like a cute slash baby look if you take a look at the blue whale itself the proportions is so much different there so yeah i'm not really big fan of uh, glow whales and probably will never sculpt this guy on my channel ice swarm I have created this one on my channel, probably this was the first creature from the Subnautica Below Zero as well. Of course the body is based on the centipede, which itself also I have 
created on the channel back in the days where I had a little bit of a different setting. Um, of course, due to that resemblance, it's not very creative body-wise, body -wise, but, the, but the role itself, uh, the habitat it lives in and the means of movement, like having this bio-heating beak using which it can melt the ice and move through it, overall role of a creature is enough for me to elevate it yet again to the top parts as for the great designs from the game. I don't really know how to pronounce this Leviathan's name, uh, it is very awkward looking, Shelly um, Serrate or something, I will definitely uh, I will definitely create this one on my channel based on the look itself it is very very strange looking the body more or less resembles uh, on the part of uh, these armor plates resembles some kind of a lobster yet again uh, but the uh, overall shape has having fins and this very weird looking beak yeah, this is one of the strangest looking creatures in the game, period. Yeah, Lily Paddler is quite strange looking creature at the first glance. This weird four eyes separated from the head itself, the strange looking fins, also two mandibles onto the uh, uh, lower part of the body, really creates this very odd look to it. But unfortunately, I do not really like the blend. I can see the base um, from which it can be coming from. Uh, the body shape looks like a Parasaurolopus, um, the dinosaur. And the overall strange fins can be attributed to the lionfish from Earth. And due to that fact and due to this very odd looking uh, overall body, I don't really am a big fan of it. Cryptosuch or something had a, yet again a strange name. This guy looks like a kaiju in my opinion. More specifically, the Raiju from Pacific Rim. Uh, I'm very uh, like uh, split on it on the design. First of all, it is too sci-fi-ish for the creature uh, to exist. Uh, and overall density and shapes and the uh, fact it is so protected, it really, uh, in my opinion, robs the creature from realism and looks like, yet again, some kind of sci-fi-ish uh, kaiju-looking thing. Yeah, it looks cool, but not in terms of, like, subnautica base, so to say. For the Frozen Leviathan, I'm uh, yet again quite split in the opinion. Uh, for the first part, in my opinion, this guy looks like a monster slash kaiju too much. The monster look is elevated by the face, uh, the, this uh, very sharp and narrow teeth, also the like creepy looking eyes, overall body color, shape and the lack of any kind of fur or like scale or something else. At the same time, the body proportions look like, look like a mammal. It has five fingers on each feet. The muscle structure is quite resembling to... Uh, if, you, if you have seen the uh, furless chimp, uh, the body color, texture and the muscles are quite resembling to that one as well. So I don't uh, really see how it fits to the subnautica creature types. Uh, uh, that much. And that was it. I hope you enjoyed this listing. I really am very interested in your thoughts and ideas and really want to hear them. Maybe read them in the comment sections. Maybe you agree with me on designs and uh, the strange look to it. Maybe you don't. Maybe you think that some kind of other creatures were used as the base and inspiration for them and I will be gladly reading and answering all of your comments down below. That was it, have a nice day and see you next time, goodbye!